Quantum mysticism is a set of metaphysical beliefs and associated practices that seek to blend consciousness, intelligence, spirituality or mystical worldviews with the scientific theories and interpretations of quantum mechanics. It is often criticized by scientists and philosophers as pseudoscience or quackery. However, it has also gained a following among some new age thinkers and practitioners. In this video, we will explore this metaphysical philosophy, taking a look at how it developed, its philosophical implications and the criticisms of it. I'll end with my thoughts on it. Remember, this is more of an overview than a deep dive into the topic. So, if you notice I left some details out or skimmed over concepts too superficially, let me know in the comments. The term quantum mysticism first emerged in the early 20th century, as scientists began to grapple with the strange and counterintuitive implications of quantum mechanics. Some of the pioneers of the field, such as Schrodinger and Heisenberg, began to explore the philosophical implications of their work. They were struck by odd behavior of matter at the quantum scale and they wondered whether it could be related to our understanding of consciousness and reality. The roots of quantum mysticism primarily come from the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. While it isn't an universally accepted interpretation, some think that it holds that consciousness plays an essential role in the collapse of the wave function. This is the process by which quantum particles transition from being in a superposition of states to being in a single, definite state. Another example of quantum mysticism is the idea of non-locality which is the ability of two quantum particles to be linked together in such a way that they share the same fate, even if they are separated by a large distance. This idea has led some people to speculate that consciousness is non-local and that we are all interconnected on a deeper level. Quantum mysticism advocates take this a step further, suggesting that the universe is a single unified whole and that we are all interconnected on a deep level through our consciousness. Of course, this expansion upon quantum mechanics is very controversial and there is no scientific evidence to support it. They may also think that our consciousness is able to tap into this interconnectedness and cause phenomena such as the collapse of wave function. They believe that humans can even use it, and may have used it in the past, to achieve things like healing and telepathy. Supporters contend that quantum mechanics will eventually provide a scientific basis for many of the ancient mystical teachings about the nature of reality and consciousness. The vast majority of scientists are quite skeptical of this view though. Now, let's take a look at the philosophical implications. One of the most important implications is that it challenges our traditional understanding of reality. After all, Quantum mechanics has shown us that the universe is a much stranger and more mysterious place than we previously thought. Quantum mystics argue that this new understanding of reality has implications for our understanding of consciousness and spirituality. They believe that quantum mechanics shows us that consciousness is not simply a product of the brain, but that it is somehow fundamental to the nature of reality. One of the most important implications is that it challenges the traditional view of the mind-body problem. This problem is concerned with the relationship between the physical world and the mental world. Traditionally, philosophers have divided into two camps, dualists and monists. Dualists believe that the mind and body are two distinct substances while monists believe that they are one and the same. Quantum mysticism suggests a third possibility, that the mind and body are interconnected, but not identical. This is because it suggests that consciousness can play a role in shaping the physical world. Similarly, another important philosophical implication of quantum mysticism is that it challenges our sense of separateness. Quantum mechanics suggests that all things in the universe are interconnected in some way. This could imply that we are not isolated individual consciousnesses, but that we are all part of a larger whole. Quantum mysticism also has implications for our understanding of free will. If consciousness plays a role in the collapse of the wave function, then this suggests that our thoughts and intentions can have a real impact on the physical world. This challenges the philosophical view of free will being an illusion. Another philosophical implication is that it challenges the traditional view of causality. Causality is the idea that every event has a cause. 
quantum mechanics suggests that there is a certain amount of randomness in the universe. This means that some events may not have a cause. This is known as the indeterminacy principle. Quantum mystics argue that the indeterminacy principle suggests that we have more free will than we think. Quantum mysticism tends to be heavily influenced by ideas from Eastern philosophy and mysticism. Some hold that the findings of quantum mechanics support the Eastern view of consciousness. For example, since they believe that the observer plays an active role in creating reality, this suggests that consciousness is not simply a passive observer, but rather an active participant in the universe. Many proponents also often draw from Eastern mystical practices such as meditation, yoga, firewalking, chanting mantras or even more esoteric practices. Now, we can jump into the criticisms of quantum mysticism. One of the main criticisms is that it relies on a number of misunderstandings, misinterpretations and oversimplifications of quantum mechanics. Critics argue that quantum mystics often take analogies and metaphors too literally and that they ignore the more mundane explanations of quantum phenomena. For example, quantum mystics often cite the double slit experiment as evidence that consciousness can collapse the wave function. However, the double slit experiment can be explained perfectly well without invoking consciousness. Another criticism of quantum mysticism is that it is often used to promote pseudoscientific and harmful products and practices. For example, some quantum mystics claim that they can use their minds to prevent and heal diseases. This can cause people to forego treatments and put their health at risk. Some consider this worse than traditional religious practices that advocate various restrictions on medical treatments. This is because quantum healers use a cloak of scientific authority to sell their idea or product. From a scientific perspective, quantum mysticism is difficult, or even impossible, to test or falsify. This means that it is not a scientific theory because it's based on vague and subjective concepts. Instead, from a scientific point of view, it should be considered a philosophy or religion. From a philosophical perspective, some critics point out that quantum mystics misinterpret and misappropriate Eastern concepts such as non-duality and consciousness. Some think that they use these concepts to support and add a hint of mystery to their own personal beliefs, even though these beliefs are not consistent with the original Eastern teachings. Other philosophers disagree with the third way of consciousness concept. This has always been a contentious area of philosophy so adding a third possibility into the mix draws critics from both sides. Now, let's wrap up our discussion with my thoughts on quantum mysticism. First, we have to consider that it is a diverse field of thought so we don't want to throw out potentially useful philosophical concepts with questionable ones. I think that there are implications in quantum mechanics that might eventually be applicable to the philosophical mind-body problem. However, that should be separated out from the New Age hucksters selling snake oil solutions. Quantum mysticism can be seen as a way of bridging the gap between science and religion. However, it is also important to distinguish between the philosophy of quantum mysticism and the well-established science of quantum mechanics. It's best to keep them separate, if on somewhat parallel tracks. From a philosophical perspective, Quantum mysticism can be seen as a way of empowering individuals, much like the positive thinking movement. It can give someone a sense of greater responsibility and control over one's life. Meditation has been proven to reduce anxiety and improve relaxation. These things can be quite helpful to some people. But, there's the risk of falling too far into the pop mysticism side and forming questionable, if not risky, beliefs or being deceived and fleeced by a slick talking trickster. As for some of the more out there new age mystical claims like quantum healing, quantum ghosts, quantum manifestation or quantum telepathy, get back to me when you have some solid scientific evidence to support these claims. That's my take on quantum mysticism. What's your take? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video and please comment to let me know your thoughts on it.
Also, check out our other videos about other philosophical topics.